for an investor who's starting now uh, you know sort of uh, enthused with the, the 25,000 mark on the nifty 82,000 mark on the sensex uh, how would you advise that person to deploy uh, a 10 lakh rupee portfolio over large caps mid caps thematics uh, uh, international flavor as also debt what would be the respective percentages well you know on a television uh, or, or on, a, on your channel uh, talking a generic asset allocation would be kind of you know uh, 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 would not be par par for the course but i would probably kind of you know um, say a, a, a few few points uh, which would help him or her in this direction first of all uh, you know speak to an advisor who would probably uh, uh, understand the risk profile and uh, uh, invest accordingly uh, certainly there is asset allocation asset allocation between debt and equities what i am going to talk next is about within equities so within equities for a conservative investor i think flexi cap kind of funds are good to are par for the course in the current market it's run with the large cap bias uh, it's also run keeping in mind the fact that volatility is kept in check um, and it's a good place to be for a conservative investor for investors with reasonable risk appetite uh, whose outlook is three to five years multi-cap funds um, are a good way to kind of you know approach the market because in here while you have the protection of roughly about 45 odd percent uh, in large caps mid and small cap forms about 50 or 55 percent of the portfolio so one can get the valuation comfort but as well at the same time uh, uh, the growth the blend of the valuations and growth are just about optimal for this segment the third is for the aggressive investors investors who have an outlook for five to ten years who can lift who can live with uh, volatility uh, for them probably a mid-cap portfolio uh, which again swings between large mid and small a small proportion in large uh, majority being mid and small is the way to think about it but clearly only with the caveat that uh, the outlook should be more than five years at the very least for investing at current levels the final point that i would make is irrespective of which category you go for the way to go about investing in current markets is basically an stp or in a staggered mode as opposed to a lump sum I think those would be some of the pointers that if he takes his notes to uh, his advisor, I'm sure they both together will reach the right decision making.